Alright everybody, welcome back to the 2019 National Collegiate Dodgeball Championships. This is it, the final game that we've got between Grand Valley, the perennial winners here, the national reigning champs, and Towson, the up-and-comer. I'm here, Gar Punnett. We've got, we've got a great match going on. Yeah, my name is Kevin Bailey. I'm with the National Collegiate Dodgeball Association and yeah, it's been a fantastic weekend of dodgeball all day, two days in a row. It's, uh, this has uh, been incredible. And we've narrowed it all the way down to the final two here. Grand Valley State, number one team in the country, uh, going up against number two Towson. I was gonna say, number two Towson coming in and really, again, the up and comer. Like, they, they've been hustling all year to make it to this opportunity. Absolutely, and, and actually, this is the first time that Towson's ever made it to the championship game. That's uh, incredible. This is their this is their moment right now. Take down the champion. Yeah, and their 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 last or their first time making the final four was today as well. So. All right. Well, we're seeing Towson get ready on the baseline. Oh, um, here we go. Yeah, here we go. It's gameplay. We're we're getting set. Towson's really going to need to command the neutral zone and either to take on Grand Valley. Absolutely. That's clearly been the key. That's where we saw success with Central Michigan, um, and hopefully that's where Towson. Oh my gosh, you can hear a pin drop in this in the stadium right now. Yeah. Um, all right, and significant we're underway. action going at, at going at the rush. All right. So yeah, there's a lot of things to keep an eye on here, but one would be uh, just the way the pace of the game is uh, flowing back and forth between these two teams with, that play two very different styles. And a quick miss there by number 19, Jordan Watt for Towson. Looks like Towson set up to throw again here. Quick miss, and Grand Valley, as you can see already, they seem comfortable playing from their back line. Right. Ju just like they did against Central Michigan I mean, in that at, game. Yeah, look at Towson, really putting, I mean, maybe this is a comfort zone for this team right now, is is, is Grand Valley sticking back on the baseline. Yeah, and uh, also for Towson, they're, they're a team that relies on those power arms, yeah. uh, as you yeah. can see in their, their semifinal match. Uh, they have so many athletes on their team that can sling the ball upwards of 70 miles an hour. Uh, and you're going to see that today. Ooh, nice, nice throw. Ben Smart able to dodge using a using the ball as, as a block. Oh, that was incredible. Yeah, and keep an eye on uh, David Guar there in the, yeah, on the David Guar. close side here. He plays the corner for Towson and does an amazing job of just commanding that side of the court for their team. I mean, no significant advantage at this point. Each, I think each team really sizing each other up again. I mean, that's been so critical in these early minutes. Yeah, you'll notice the first point of the game does tend to be slower in that regard. Just both of these teams trying to figure out the other strategy. They've played each other before this year, but it's the Ooh. national. Oh, and safe, oh. safe ground. Whoa! A little backhand throw little for backhand Towson. Backhand throw, and not a whole lot of so again outs so far. Towson though doing exactly what they did strong all through this tournament, which is commanding the neutral zone, making sure they run the pace of of their opponent. Yeah, and they had an unbelievable Final Four game against Michigan State. They absolutely took it to them, showed that Oof. they were the better team. So. Yep. But we've got our, our usual suspe suspects here with Brandon Meisel, uh, Stockdale, number 24 in the corner. Um, Alex, yep, Alex Janaskas right in, in sort of center. Yeah, and also keep an eye on Aaron Kraft there in the center yep. of the court. Aaron he does Kraft, yep. a great job. Oh, and a catch oh, by and Ben Smart. Catch. And that's wow. on... Jordan All right, that's to watch this. I mean, this is where Grand Valley really significantly pushes. Towson quickly pushing back. And that was only one kill, but it was an enormous kill because it took out uh, Jordan Watt, an MVP candidate. Oh. And there goes another catch. Wow. This time, Blake Clevenger for Grand Valley State goes down, throws it a little bit too high, and it was just within reach for a Towson player. These are my favorite moments when both teams are sort of sizing each other up, doing the fake outs on, on the wings, yep. and really making sure that nobody can get a cross shot going. People would be surprised at just how much strategy does go into Ooh, this game. Nice throw, nice oh. block. Looked like that wasn't a kill. Yep, he stays alive. Stays alive. Again, all points of contact in when you want to dodge out, you can still keep a toe in. All right, here we go. Two throws And again, that's, that's Jeff Hayden, though, in 3-1-3. In three, three. So bold in center play. Um, almost begging everybody to throw a ball his direction so he can try to get that catch. Every team needs a guy like him that has no fear and <laughs> yeah. really pushes the pace for you. <laughs> and again, I mean, as the team recedes, he's, he's usually one of the last ones. Oh, nice wow. jump. James oh, Reyes. Oh, great. Great playing by both these teams here. Good throws, nice jump. Great jump there. Towson pushing up again, and they've been in the neutral zone, as you can see, basically this whole point so far. Uh, but they're comfortable with it, and... 
They're hanging with Grand Valley, the number one team in the country right now. Ooh, another miss. So for those who might not be too aware of uh, the way college dodgeball works, we have two 25-minute halves. Every time you eliminate the entire other team, uh, you get a point. Most points at the end of the game wins. If we do happen to have a tie like we did in uh, the final four game between Central and Grand Valley, we're going to have sudden death overtime, six on six, best players on each team. And, and as very we saw, tense it, match. it was amazing. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I would love to see that again. In yeah, this one. Kevin was a little nervous. I, I was definitely nervous. <laughs> we had Brett here in the booth, and man, he was, it was a swing of emotions from one play to the next. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. All right, here, Towson able to really back everybody down. And, wow. Amazing Jeff, pump yeah. fakes by Hayden. Yeah. I mean, Jeff really, Hayden really comes in, and we saw him do like a triple, triple pump twist thing. I don't even know yeah. what he's doing. It looked like a madman on one of these. I think he's inventing his own moves exactly. out here. Exactly. <laughs> Definitely his own hairstyle. <laughs> um. It almost looks like Grand Valley's playing a little bit too timid here. They need to get back to the way they played at the end of that Central yeah. Michigan game. I mean, when was the last time these two saw each other? Uh, great point there. Uh, they actually... Ooh, some big, and that's some a big hit. exchanges wow. here. Oh, just a miss. So Grand Valley played Towson twice uh, last month in March, okay. um, on March 30th. And actually, it went to overtime in the first game. Okay. In the second game, Towson had a lead, and Grand Valley was able to come back and win. And we have a catch by Ben Smart. Wow. So yeah, a little bit of history between the two teams. They okay. played twice this year. Both games were really close games that could have gone either way. All and right. Hopefully, we see that again. Here we go. On the advance here, Ben Smart trying to size him up. And Watt pushing up to make a throw. Ooh, here we go. Meisel trying to back him down, ends up backing down himself back to the baseline. Keep an eye on just the way that Grand Valley's players have such perfect anticipation of the other team throwing uh, and how they start running up into the neutral zone. Grand Valley's known as one of the teams that does that the best, and it's a huge part of the reason why they're the number one team in the country. They're on a 36-game win streak right now. and looking to win a seventh straight national title. Yeah, here we go. I mean, it, that's what we're seeing from Grand Valley is they know when to strike. And Towson's always just going to keep pressing the offense. Yep. And Grand Valley had, can just wait wait to make the right call. Wow, Jeff Hayden. Oh, great Maybe getting throw. lucky on that. Wow. Oh, and it just oh, clips his hands. Stockdale. His Whoa. He gets a kill and a catch in a matter of seconds. Yeah, this is a swing of the game. Oh, nice oh, hit there. Brandon Meisel really, really getting that. And Colin Mormon's a guy that's really stepped up for Towson this year, and he clips out probably the MVP front here runner at this point. Looks like Grand Valley may set up a team throw here. Yep, we're getting simultaneous throw. Oh, nice hits. jump. Oh, and another hit. That was 19 from Towson. Yep, Incredible Jordan Watt. Incredible jump. Yeah, Jordan Watt. And he's a guy that all year long has been mentioned as one of the MVP candidates. Another Ooh, catch for Ben Brutal Smart. catch. Wow. All right, so we're seeing an early momentum shift. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Aaron Kraft. Oh, wow, it went between his legs. Oh. Amazing 47, dodges. 47, yeah. Towson, Andrew Kerr. Kerr. Another veteran for Towson. Yeah, another veteran. I mean, really, this is the confidence, though, from Towson is even though they're a heavy disadvantage Team-wise, they still play with confidence, and they're still getting right up there. Yeah, and I would say s some would think, oh, we got a shot clock violation against okay, Towson. Okay, so this isn't this isn't going to be great here. Who do you think uh, Grand Valley is going to be gunning for in this in this lineup? Watt. At this moment, you you probably have to go with Watt. If you're afraid of his catching, which he's known to also be a great catcher, okay. then I would go to the other side and take out Colin Spore. Both of those guys are fantastic players. Uh, and as I, I was going to mention earlier. Uh, Towson may be looked at as a little bit of an underdog just because they don't have the history that Grand Valley has. Right. But this team has so much talent. And, and Colin Spore dodges all three balls there. This team can hang with anyone in the country, and they're confident. So this is anyone's ball game. Towson. Oh, and we have a stoppage. Towson not wow. going to be. Okay. Interesting. So the refs are discussing something. I think it's a miscommunication over whether. Colin Spore was out on that team throw, or if it it missed him. So okay. he stayed in. Uh, it didn't look like any ball yeah, bounced off of him. Like so I think they made the right call by keeping him in there. 
Um, yeah, I mean, Towson not going to be saved from any sort of time. They've got still 16 minutes, 53 seconds left on the clock. Yep. We'll see a lot of a lot of points scored in this yep. game. Yep. Oof. Okay, here we go. And Grand Valley looks so confident trying to catch to against yeah. them. Yeah, we're ready to see Towson get get a catch. Oh, oh that's, and he that's steps out. out. He steps out. A little too keep, overextended here. Keep one point of contact oh. in. Wow, Aaron Kraft okay. catches him when he's not looking. That's a big, big kill for against RJ. Number 21 on Towson. So Towson's still got three solid players in the game. Andrew Kerr here on the oh, far that was side. A, that was a bold throw. throw right there because that was that could have gotten a catch. You have to. Oh, oh he, All right, that he looked, got Meisel. That looked like Meisel got, yep. Uh, so still three left for Towson. You've got to be careful making those long throws, though, as that one was right there. Grand Valley's looking to catch those. All right. Grand Valley advances. Here we go. Oh, oh and a ben drop. Ben Smart gets a Tries to do a drop catch, ends up dropping the ball. Jordan Watt, he's having yeah, himself a little bit of a game so nice far. Nice game uh -oh. so far. And that throw, that throw was good. Okay. So for those of us who just joined and may not know that rule, uh, each hit, oh, and there's a catch. What a catch. He's In got and a, out. Yeah, he's got a. Andrew Kerr with a catch. Yeah. Kerr's got to watch that little maneuver he did when he, he turned his back on the Grand Valley. And James Reyes clips Kerr in the foot. Great throw, great anticipation. So I'll finish. Yeah, I'll, I'll just finish what you were going to say there with the shot clock violation. I mean, both of these teams, uh, Grand Valley's got a 15 second, Towson got a 10 second shot clock because they have less than five players. Both of them keeps the flow moving with, with the ball as we see Towson try to really hold off Grand Valley here. Yeah, and keep an eye on Tyler Schmitz who just got caught in. Uh, he's on the far side. Yep. Oh, oh, and he gets hit in the face. Right in a headshot. What Yikes. we've been waiting for all day. That's going to happen when you have the best two teams going at each yep. other. So, yeah, if Towson does make a couple catches and get, get off that 10-second shot clock, they can get to six players. They're off the 10-second shot clock. They're back to 15. But So what's the strategy here on if you got two players, you're down to one. Are you going to have a player step out, just save the time? I think at this point, no. Okay. Uh, with still 14 minutes to go in the half. Towson has the type of power, firepower to get a point quickly. I, I think especially with looking at the two players left for them, oh, yeah. Jordan Watt, one of the best players in the entire country. And Jordan Watt tried to throw a playable ball there um, towards the end of his shot clock, didn't end up doing it, wasn't within reach of one of Grand Valley's players, so they end up actually getting in a shot clock violation. Now sets up Grand Valley. A lot of ammunition, a lot of players ready to see what they can do to these these two standing at the baseline. Oh, and as expected, yep. team throw on Jordan yep. Watt. On Jordan Watt, try to eliminate one of their MVPs. They put oh, and a catch and by Stockdale. So that's it for Grand Valley. One got a point. One zero. Towson got to pull it together, figure out some strategy here. Really, I mean, only only about ten minutes yeah, off. Ten off minutes the off clock. the clock. Yeah, eleven minutes. Um, this is great. We got a lot, a lot of dodgeball left. 14 minutes to go in the first half. Only one point on the on the board. So this we could easily see another point in this in this 14 minutes. Yeah, and there's a lot of awesome storylines to follow with this one. As I mentioned earlier, Towson's never even made it this far, and at the same time, Grand Valley they've won 10 national titles. Yes. So it's it's such a crazy difference between these two programs. But Towson has come on strong the last couple years. Uh, and they've done a fantastic job recruiting. They have so much talent on their roster that they can hang with anyone. That's the reason why they're here in the national title game. All right, so resetting each team to the baseline going to happen. I mean, what do you expect on this rush? Towson's going to try to give it all they got, snag all the balls, throw them back to their top throwers. Yeah, yeah. to the top throwers. I, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Towson's a team that, really does rely on that ball advantage, having more balls on their side because they're such a power arm, arm team. Uh, in Grand Valley, them. I doubt they even throw a single ball here. Oh, and there's one, oh, and it's a go. miss, so that's a mistake. And that's why usually Grand Valley, you won't even see them throw on right. the run-up. They'll just take their balls and go back because you don't want to waste the throw. And already it looks like, oh, and a drop by both sides. Wow. Oh. Oh, and a catch! Oh, and an out. Catching out, but McCoy Wondergem diving to save himself. Yeah, that was a great catch by McCoy. Keeping him honest here while they get that ball. So I Towson does have the ball advantage, it looks like. They just Towson, need to take advantage yeah, of it. Yeah, Towson with the ball advantage. 
and we have a stoppage again. Uh, let's see what the refs are going to discuss here. 1-0 Grand Valley. Colin O'Brien making some call here. One of the officials talking to Jake as well. Some of our past co-hosts. And we'll see what they say. Towson does need to regroup a little bit. I, I feel like their strategy is playing right into Grand Valley's hands. They're slow in the neutral zone, and they're giving throws that are catchable to Grand Valley side of the court. They need to get back to what they were doing against Michigan State right. when they were just overpowering teams, getting up to the throw line and playing like a team, blocking for each other, pump faking, making it more uh, confusing for the opponent to know who's coming at them with the throw and who might be just be pump faking. All right, All right so both teams return to the baseline. They're kind of, it's the, it's the meander. They're, they're walking forward, trying to scope out what the next play might be on some of these Grand Valley players. They do have a ball advantage. Shot clock. Seemed like they've got to make, oh, they made their throw. Oh, Jordan Watt with the throw. Here we go. Let's see if we can make something happen. Jordan Watt, Schmidt's coming in. Yeah, and these two guys on this closer sideline to us have cannons for arms. Yeah, so these are their, their big guns on the wing. Yep. Ooh, it, oh, that was, him. yep. Was that James? No, 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 that was, oh yeah, like that was Christian, yeah. Christian Cariello. And Kraft wow. pushes up, just misses. Here we go. Good pump faking and yeah, Grand Valley. I love this. This is the, yeah, that's. They that's are acting like they've been here before and they're <laughs> they're confident pump faking for each other and that's what Towson needs to do more of. Protecting, protecting Ooh. the wing. Oh. And yeah, they call him out. Wait so. a good call, yeah. Good call on number 12, got him in the hand. Clipped his hand. Hand is not part of the ball. You got to block that without yep. it hitting your hand that's holding it. So Towson pushing up again. Here we go. Oof. Nice, nice. Oof. Oh, and a hit, hit by both sides. So Ben Smart gets taken out by Colin Mormon, but uh, Brandon Meisel, teammate for Grand Valley, took out Colin Mormon right after that. Yeah. Jeff Hayden, though, had some great play there in the center court. He does such a good job of baiting Whoa. the other team into throwing at him, as he does there. Yeah, with, He's with so his backhanded, yeah, with his backhanded ball movement. Oh, and wow, that's that a was shot. pretty incredible. Blake Clevenger. Oh, and James Reyes misses. They call him safe. Aaron Kraft also misses. So Towson is hanging in there this point. We still have, oh, and a catch. Ooh. Jordan Watt goes down. Coda Gallagher with a catch on him. And a hit oh on Andrew my. Kerr. Wow. Okay. So he is not generally Kerr. one of the stars for Grand Valley, but Coda coming up big here. And there goes two of Towson's best players. Okay, here we go. Towson needs a catch. I mean, they need a catch to rally back. A lot of the momentum shifting to Grand Valley. Seems like Grand Valley is really okay on the baseline. They are. Having people throw to their magnificent catchers. Yeah, and at the same time, it's it's so tough to dodge when you're backpedaling out of that neutral zone. Yeah. And they're forcing Towson to do that. Towson's going to make a throw and then backpedal. And just like that, you're going to have open shots. And Grand Valley so good at executing on Ooh. those. Good block by Still, Sam Stockdale. Yeah. Sam Stockdale able to keep that in front of the ball. Here we go, backpedaling. We need some wingers to, to keep these guys in check. See what 22 can do. Towson University. Oh, another miss there. Yeah, that was Colin Sporer. Trying to show that the East Coast is a, a power in college dodgeball. This is actually the first time a team from the East Coast has ever made the national championship yeah, game. This is a big deal. Even if Grand Valley is still, still in the championship, the fact that Towson's right here. To yep. Two misses there by Grand Valley. That's a little bit of a miscommunication. They only want to throw one there and get back. There we go. Whoop. Good luck by Meisel. And a block called there. Under 10 minutes to go in the first half. Two 25 right. minute halves Two here. teams staring each other down. Had to throw the ball away to stay within the shot clock. Ooh, that's going to be a big loss. Wow. For Towson. Good teamwork by Grand Valley there. Oh, and a Ooh. catch, James Reyes. Wow, that was. Stares him down after the catch. Coming down with some sass. Oh, and I think that's a wow. hit on Daniels okay, as so well. Okay, so lot of shift here. Oh, that. Safe. He's so, safe. He so they got like two left. 
out. Wow. So I mean, these two players. Yeah, I mean, we've got we've got Jeff Hayden here though, who can really, who can really dodge and catch. And and Hunter Friedman was one of the last players left, last point as well. Uh, he got taken out. We're but gonna see some. Oh, what oh, a catch! What a catch! Unbelievable catch there, Nick Hale, a rookie for Grand Valley, coming yeah. up big in the game. I mean, championship that was an game. incredible throw on Jeff. And I think he's safe. I Great think he's blocking. Safe. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, nice cross Ooh, that up. Meisel. Oh! Yeah, Meisel, a suicide throw there. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That'll send a message. Yep, definitely does. Grand Valley maintaining a, a lead now, 2-0. Eight minutes, 42 seconds left in the half. And I'm actually going to say that was a good thing for Towson that they lost that right at the end once they had two guys left, that they lost it quickly. Yeah, Because totally. it gives them time now to score a point before halftime. Yep. We know, we've seen all day long, two-point leads are not a safe thing. Right. You can still lose the game. There's so much time left in this game. I mean, we had a rare three-point lead from zero come back for a, fas a fascinating game. Yeah. I mean, both teams right now, Grand Valley on their side, they're saying keep, keep the foot on the gas pedal right now. This game is far from over. We've seen these leads be relinquished before. And then on Towson's side, they're, they're saying play our game right now. We have not been playing our game. Yeah. We've been playing right into Grand Valley style. They have. And it might be unfortunate that Towson's style of forcing sort of the neutral zone and really being very aggressive is exactly what Grand Valley wants. Yep, it's a clash of styles, and it comes down to who's going to execute it better. It's not one style maybe better than the other. Yep. It's just that right now Grand Valley has been doing a better job executing their strategy and their yep, style and their of their aggressiveness, yeah. What do you think would happen if, if we had Towson do a reversal of strategy and stay at the baseline? I, honestly, one of the things is they aren't as used to it, and I think that that's a disadvantage for them. Yep. They haven't played that type of strategy all year. Actually, Grand Valley's been doing it for years and years, so right. it's something that is just ingrained into the culture at, in Grand Valley's dodgeball program. But I will say Towson has the type of athletes on their team that they can play any style and they'll, they'll excel at it. So if I'm them right now, I think you've got to change something up. Either really force your strategy on GVSU or start playing a different style of play. All right, we got the rush in. Wow. Wow. So he was it right next to him, and he didn't take a throw. That's how much they care about getting the ball advantage over just getting one guy out on the run-up. All right, nice throw. Maybe could have done a drop catch on that one, but gives the ball back. Oh, Alex hit the ground. Okay, yep, they're calling that the ground ball first before it went into Alex Janoska's hands. So no catch. Yep, no catch. Number 71 trying to trying to make his argument, but we're gonna get the we're gonna get Grand Valley really still holding back and making Towson come into the neutral zone and really fight to pick them off. And I think that's what really if if that's what they were meeting about in their in their squad is we got to protect our our wings here. That's a good point. Under eight minutes to go here in the first half. And a miss there by Watt. Meisel coming up. Oh, oh, he throws a catch. Great catch. That was Meisel. Catch yeah, is good. That was good. a catch. Catch is yep. good. I don't know what Brandon was trying to argue. He was out of bounds. And great catch. I think that was Kerr. Yep. Andrew Kerr. Good and catch. Andrew Kerr. And takes out a big player for GSU. Yeah. Although Meisel has a tendency to just make his way back in through Grand Valley. Yep. Catching the ball. Nice get. They should get that ball. Make sure that it's, yeah, great. Oh, oh and a drop. another drop ball. Way to pick off. God, who do we have in the corner? Number eight, yeah. Cody Gallagher yeah, goes Yeah, Cody down. Gallagher. Oh, oh. almost an all-hands catch there. But I mean, if he had even better. maintained control of that trap, it would have been neutral. So, yeah, yeah. so, I mean, that's where... Ooh, we got a bounce, bounce hit Ben Smart in the face. Oh, oh and that's an out. out. Yep, Amazing ben gets out throw. when it hit in the knees. Jordan Watt just clips it under oh. his ball. Lose 16. Yeah, that's Dylan Youngert. Towson looks like they have the advantage at this point so far. Yeah, I mean, they're really, what that would do for their, for their oh, and a oh catch again. wow, another Aircraft catch. Okay, here we go. This is where it gets interesting, where Grand Valley's got six minutes. Maybe they, 
Oh, another hit. Okay. Jordan Watt having himself another good point. We've seen this before, though. So this is where it gets really interesting. We don't have Ben Smart in here, but we still have Alex Janoskas, who is able to hold off six players. Um, yeah. On another. Rep yeah. Calls out Brett Blair there for GVSU. So they're down to four. Okay, here we go. So Just these, these guys are going to have to coordinate, do some team throws. Just under six minutes to go Ooh. now. And oh, nice catch. catch. Again, that's Jeff That's Jeff Hayden's specialty is, is putting himself in that situation. Oh, almost does almost, it again. Yeah, almost does it again. Three left for Grand Valley. Yeah, Jeff Hayden, number 313. Really trying to fake out Janoskas with a fake ball. And let's so <laughs> yeah, that's bold. <laughs> exactly. Ooh. Thought that was going to be an out. Ended up hitting the ground first. Significant advantage here for Towson. Five minutes left to go. Another catch. Wow. Another catch. 27 on Towson. This is incredible. Alex Hussey. And a miss there. Jordan Watt trying so to take a throw. We still have four minutes and 43 seconds left to go. This is uh, this is big. This is big for Towson. They need a point before halftime. Yeah, they definitely need a point for halftime. That will swing the momentum heavily in their favor, trying to climb the deficit that Grand Valley has set has set before Towson. And it looks like Towson's having a little bit of trouble All closing right. out the point so far. Yeah, they really are. They're going to have to really take advantage. Ooh, nice block. What we're going to have happen here, though, is maybe. I'm not going to try to drink, jinx Grand Valley, but a shot clock would be violation would be pretty detrimental. Yep. And you're going to look look at these guys to make a catch possibly. Yep. So here comes a potential catch. Nope. Block. They've got the. I mean, are we seeing? Yeah. Grand Valley's got the the ball, ball advantage on their side. Oof. Pop ball. So Pop we're going to take there. some time here at 3:51. Or not? Maybe we just keep playing. And yep. We got another ball in, so we're just going to keep playing. Logan Tenwaldi for GVSU pushing up the far side. McCoy Wonder Gem over here on the on the closer okay, end. Okay, here we go. McCoy been such a key player before. And he's a great catcher. Three minutes. This will mean nothing to Towson if they can't capitalize on getting getting these players out. It would be an enormous swing if they weren't able to get this yeah. point before halftime. They need this if they want to have a chance in this national championship game. Ooh, that game. looked like he almost tried to go for that grab. We want another catch from one of these two teams to really really fully tilt the situation here. If Grand Valley was able to get a... Oh, and oh. there's a hit! Okay, so that's a hit. We've got up 12 on, 12 on 1. Safe. Yeah, I mean McCoy this is 12 on 1. So He has to take out the entire lineup. So what we could easily see here though is some suicide Oh, and there he we gets go. taken out. So with 2 minutes, 45 seconds left to go, 44 seconds left to go, Towson finally gets that point that they were looking for for the past four minutes. This is big. This shifts the momentum in Towson's favor, bringing up a 2-1 lead now still for Grand Valley. But with 2 minutes left to go, this is, uh, this is pretty significant. Now, yep. we're not in the same scenario where we'll, this will lead into. This will push over into the second half. Okay. Uh, so if there's under 4 minutes left to go in a half, uh, that amount of time will get uh, pushed over into the second half. So we are at halftime. Yeah, so we're going to be at halftime now coming up. Um, what an incredible game going on. Um, yeah, this is going to be crazy. We got Towson pulling in, a, pulling in a point here, which is crucial to how they're going to overcome Grand Valley in their, what is it, seven-year dominance as, as, as Grand Valley goes Go for their seven, Pete. Going on seven if they can get this one. Excellent. Well, we'll be right back, y'all. Thanks for joining us for the 2019 National Dodgeball Championships. We'll be back very shortly. Excellent, everybody. Welcome back to the 2019 National Collegiate Dodgeball Championships. Wow. What a great performance so far from Towson and Grand Valley. Uh, we had an incredible matchup there in the end with Towson pulling away with a point. Yeah, so Grand Valley took that 2-0 lead, but Towson showing some resilience there. Able to get a point before halftime, so 2-1. to one. This game could go either way still. It's going to be an exciting second half. Yeah, this is fantastic. We've got both teams lining up at the baseline right now. Uh, Grand Valley, we actually had a rollover of time. 
um, from our last half, the way the, the NCDA structures their rules, which means we've got an extra long nonstop gameplay for our second half, providing ample opportunity for Towson to make up the difference and Grand Valley to hoping to go for the seven, Pete, on the win. Yeah, 27 minutes of dodgeball left in this college dodgeball season. Down what to the top two teams in the country. Here we go. What a tournament it has been. We have a lot of play there. Not a Again, we got Jeff Hayden there, number 313 on Tau Towson. Able to back some players down, so each, each player returns to the baseline. They're coming up, though. Towson ready to throw. Oof, some missed throws there. Yeah, and Towson, they're going to need to stick with that same strategy that worked for them at the end of the first half. Nice throws, though. Every, each, each, of these, each of these teams, again, they're going to start to, although this is a little more aggressive than what we usually see from the start. I mean, your season's on the line here. Both yeah, these this teams is <laughs> had the, the goal of winning the national title, so this is it. So anybody that just happened to join us uh, for the 2019 oh, Collegiate National Champ Dodgeball Championships, welcome to the very tense last game of this tournament. Uh, we've got two teams that deserve to be here playing off for the finals. One team, again, going for the C-Pete, or 7-Pete, geez. 7-Pete, uh, that's Grand Valley, and then Towson, the new sort of up-and-comer, but first time actually in their debut for this championship. Yeah, first time making the title game for them, but they can hang with any team in the country. Yeah. And right now they're pushing up to, oh, and oh, there's a hit. And there's a hit. So Towson trying to push the, push the pace a little bit here. Uh, take down a couple Grand Valley players and get a little bit of a man advantage going. I mean, everybody's invested here on the stands. Oh, and a hit. Shoe shiner there by Sam Stockdale. I mean, we're at Grand Valley, so I would say that the stands are leaning Grand Valley, but there's still, still some support for Towson. Yep, and Towson's got some fans here as well. Ooh, um, almost dropped that, almost dropped that ball, which would have resulted in an out for Towson. Wow. Here we go. Wow, great, great defending there, defending from Bra Brandon Maisel. Yeah, and, and Maisel. The, the pump faking is just so. They sell it so well. You think yeah. that they're making a throw, but it's just I mean, a pump it is all Oh, oh and it dropped. Great that's hit. That's Stockdale going down. And that's Christian Cariello there. Big hit for him. He's one of Towson's better throwers. Keep an eye on him. Way to go, Cariello. And he gets a ball handed back off to him, too. All right. So, Oh, that. Wow. Oh, great left foot pickup dodging a cross-court shot while also making a play on one of our wingers. Again, I love this play that we're seeing. Is we're gonna get one of, the, one of the cannons to come in, try to make a throw, and as soon as they do, you're gonna have a blocker come in and try to protect them from any, any gameplay action that might come their way. Yeah, and Towson does set, Ooh, oh. oh. Ooh. That was a ground before the, yep. the catch. Towson does such a phenomenal job of being organized up on that throw line. Yeah, they really who's are. Throwing, know who's going to block. Uh, and that's really helped them all year long. Missed there by Brett Blair. Trying to ch take out Hayden again. I love the confidence that, of Hayden. That man has been thrown at <laughs> thousands of times this weekend, and most people have not come up on the positive end of it. Oh, nice. There. Yeah, nice dodge. And trying to take out uh, Tyler Schmitz. He's a senior, I believe, for Towson, one of their better arms. He's a lefty, probably like about six foot five, and guns the ball over 70 miles an hour. Ooh. That'll be a ground. It's a ground. It looks like it's a ground before it hit number nine on, yeah, number nine on, on Towson. Zero. Number zero on yeah, Towson. Colin Mormon was the one. Okay, yeah. Barely yeah, missed it. Colin Mormon, one of the captains for Towson. Oh, great jump oh, and dodge drop. and oh, that's that's gonna hurt a little bit. Jeff, man, oh drop, that was a drop hit. Okay, both teams guarding each other down. Wow, wow, I love those. Those are my favorite moments when you've got both teams coming at each other, it's pump faking, pump faking, pump faking, trying to get a ball. It honestly, it's a mental game at that point. You need to back the other team down and show that you're not afraid. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and there we go. There we go. So that brings in another. Does no, that bring in another a, player for a team catch? That's a block catch? off a ball. So no, no team catch there. It has to be off of a body instead okay, of a ball. Okay, got it. Uh, so in that case, no one comes in. No one comes in. Oh, Jeff Hayden rocking his uh, signature look this weekend. We have a stoppage again. Stoppage of time from our officials. If you look at Taos' It looks like we're checking for blood on the oh. balls. Yep. Yikes. Yeah, looking at Towson's outline, they have Tyler Schmitz in the outline. They have Brandon Kirby, one of their younger players, but one of their top arms. They need to get a couple catches, pull those guys back in, and this could be their point. They could tie the game. Yep, so right now we're taking a break to sterilize a ball. I mean, it is this, this tournament takes an incredible toll on, on these players. Not just, uh, you know, we're, we've been talking a lot about one of the unique rules about NCDA um, play is you're able to pinch the ball and make these really hard hard throws um, but what that does is it rips at your cuticles or yeah rips sort of the cuticles and knuckles of your hand even though you might have calluses there's a lot of throwing go on this weekend yeah you're going to build up strength over time but yeah these guys their fingers their hands their forearms are yep. probably so yep. tired at this point they've played seven games of this is their seventh game of dodgeball this weekend each one takes an hour nice throw oh, on. oh what a hit Brandon Meisel Cariello oh oh and two almost players an down. Incredible, almost an incredible catch on Watt as it bounced from his chest, hit his foot, went back to his hands, and he almost picked it off as he fell to the ground. And this is a crucial point now for Towson. All right, Jeff Hayden with actually a... Oh, oh. he got his foot. And he goes down. I was going to say, Jeff Hayden has a deadly backhand twist sort of throw. We have a stoppage. So, unfortunately, what happened was he got eliminated. Uh, he picked up the ball. Technically, once you're dead, once you're out, you aren't allowed to grab a ball that's in play. And it looks like the refs are going to have to award that ball back to Grand Valley at the very least, uh, just because that was against the rules. He didn't really think about it. I don't. I don't. I don't believe. But yeah, this is a crucial moment for Towson. They're losing two to one. There's 22 minutes left 22 still. But left. if you go down three to one then you're going to have to really push yeah, the pace. You're going to have to work hard for it. And, and you're going to have to do it against the number one team in the country. Back to the back lines. 22.06 left in the second half here. All right, Towson advances to where they feel most comfortable up into the neutral zone. And Grand Valley doing the same, not moving at all and pretty much staying on the baseline. Here we go. Grand Valley making a play into the neutral zone, looking for some for some throws. Most of these players do the immediate drop of the ball to see if they can make a play on a catch. Sort of instinctual, I'm sure, at this moment. And you've got the two best Ooh. teams in the country. They're so confident in their play. Here we go. Towson okay. clapping. Towson still in this. This is oh not. Yes. Here we go. Yep, hit the ground first. Got lots of yep, lots of players able to make. Some good calls. We got maybe a team throw going on here. Oh. Not sure what we hit. Just one solo throw and. We had a block. Nice yeah, block. Solo there. throw with a nice blocker on the side. And that was perfect team make, t teamwork on that side of the court. I love what we're Towson. seeing here over in the wing. We've got. Oh, and oh. he drops it. You've got to get a blocker up. Yeah, that you've got to get a block. Not. It just didn't seem like he was ready for it. I thought that was their strategy, was to have number 22 come in and, and block for Hussey. You need to be more disciplined in this situation if you're Towson. If you're going to beat the best team Ooh. in college Ooh. dodgeball. Great All right, look here we go. Myself. Good look. You know, we could still see a swing here. If Grand make a mistake by floating some sort of ball and... Stays alive. Yeah, and if it stays alive. Six left for Towson still. Grand Valley has eight, so it's, it's either team's game still. Yep. Okay. Oh... I'm not sure if that was a block not, or not. Well, it was either not. way, he stepped out. So, Down goes Andrew Kerr. Yep. Five left for Towson. Okay, here we go. Backpedaling. We're going to look at – I'm really curious what KJ Daniels can do with this ball on the wing here. He's I got a good arm. He's got a good arm. I know he was shaking it out. So this is where we start to see the effects of a long tournament. And you have five guys left for Towson, but five – Really good dodgeball five, players yep, out there. Five great players, able to make some catches and get some kills. So, David Guar going to push up here and make a throw. Ooh, just low, and he's yeah, looking to low. make a catch now. Alex, oh, Alex Janaskas trying to make a play on 
on yeah. our, our man Pi. <laughs> David Guerre. Here we go, making a play. So the Tigers right now, down to five players. They need to figure out, it. they need to make a catch at some point, get themselves off that 10 second shot clock. Yep, still 19 minutes, 16 seconds left. This is it everybody, it's for everything. Everything is on the line. He manages to both stay in and dodge the balls coming at him. Hunter Friedman, Yeah, he's I mean been the last guy left about every point. Yeah, for I mean he's, he's really pulling Sort of a, a critical role here in, in staying alive. I mean, these guys, these guys are gonna have to fight for this point. There's no doubt about that. Yep. Ah, you those are not gonna be close enough. And well, they didn't. Clock. They didn't have any balls anyway. So. <laughs> yep. Even in that situation, yeah. <laughs> if you don't make the throw, they're gonna call the violation yeah. on you. So, I mean, Towson on their back line. They need a catch anyway. So yep. this, this is kind of gonna force them to do Maybe so. Maybe this could set them up. Maybe this could be what they need. Okay, we've got Grand Valley coming in here, advancing towards the neutral zone. Gonna they're make going to make it up to the, the center. Throw. Yep, they're going center. Ooh. Wow. Able to stay in every... Oh. So Daniels got taken out. Okay, every other KJ player Daniels. Still safe. That was a, a big, potential big loss. Ooh, nice fall. Wow. A drop dodge. Yeah, so David Ooh. Guar actually took out Brandon Meisel, the captain for GVSU. Oh, yep. So, I mean, it it's one guy at a time, and that's a huge yep. one to get one out. One guy at a time. And all we know is that even if what we've seen with Alex on uh, on Grand Valley, you could still have one guy and be able to work it work it all the way down to one-on-one. -on -one. And the team throw connects there on David Guire. Unfortunate for Towson, one of their best players on their team, and he is no longer on the court. Risky throw there. Nolan yep. Stanko. Uh, Trying to clip the mm. foot, but left it a little bit high. All right. 3v6 right now. 3v, no, 3v7 for GBSU. Seven, yep. They're having a tough time closing out the point, though. Towson is still I more than in this. Yeah, I love seeing the strategy here when you get a player that's throwing and they've got two balls, but they might place a ball in front of them to act as a protective barrier. Yeah. Yeah, it's a smart play. You d you've got to protect yourself at all costs. That's just a... Dodgeball IQ, you learn to do it after you've played a couple years. It's one of those things. And both these teams so experienced. They, they know all the tricks in the book. Yep. Oh! oh. Aaron Kraft. That's a critical loss there as he blocked the ball with his ball, but then lost possession of his own ball, and, and yeah. that's an out. I mean, you got guys throwing 70 miles an hour. Aaron Kraft, one of the best players yep. in, the, in the nation, dislodges the ball right out of Colin Spore's hand. But Alex Janowskis just got taken out as well. So Towson hanging in there. They only have two guys left, though. Oh, that's. So he caught it, but it clipped off a ball before it was caught. A oh, uh, ball that really? was bouncing. So oh, wow. Becomes dead. Okay. Well, that's probably best for. Ooh. Backhand throw. Backhand throw. Mi just missing number 11 on Grand Valley. Yeah, Nolan Stanko still in it. Still doing damage. Towson hanging in there fighting to get their first national championship oh. ever. Oh, and oh, that is a catch. That's a catch right off, right catch off his shoe. Catch on both sides. Is that a catch on both sides? Oh, no, they don't, nope, Colin Mormon is still in. Yep. So they bring in number 16, it looks like. Dylan Younger. We're gonna have a stoppage of play here. Yep. So it what happened, like there was a catch on both sides and the refs only looked at the one, it looks like. We'll see if any of them had an eye on the catch that GVSU made or if it hit ground first, which yep. I believe it may have hit ground first, in which case Colin Mormon should stay in. If he doesn't, uh, and they call it a catch, that's a huge swing. He's one of the best players. And uh, earlier this year, there was a point in time, he was one of three players left for Towson. They took out Central Michigan's entire team oh. uh, with seconds left, took the point. So he's a guy that is so comfortable only with a couple guys left on the court. I mean, he's so comfortable in this situation. It's those key resilience players. I mean, that's... Yeah. All right, so... What did we end up having here? We had a violation, or were they just already? I'm not not exactly <laughs> sure. The refs are going to talk it over. We have uh, Colin O'Brien, Jake Lesky, Jason Hallman, and Kyle Fitzpatrick, all former college dodgeball players themselves. Uh, so they know the game in and out, and they're going to discuss with Towson what exactly happened. I'm not sure if that's a catch or not for GVSU, but 
either way, they got to continue playing their game here. Down to either two or three guys left for, for Towson. 15 and a half minutes ago, it looks like. 15.57, actually. This point this can is, still yeah, go this either is, way. This is big. 15, yeah, 15.57 left on the clock. Second half. Towson trying to gain that point back, gain the momentum back probably more importantly on this on this point. Long stoppage here. Uh, for those of you at home, what just happened was we had sort of simultaneous catches on both sides of the court, and only one of them was called, uh, and the head ref didn't see the other one. So we're going to see what they say. <coughs> I should say both of the catches were potential catches, but both were disputable. So yep. the refs needed to sort it out. Well, we are for sure seeing number 16 Dylan Younger back in play. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure who they're bringing back on Grand Valley if that's – oh, it looks like they're telling one of the captains, Matt Meisel. Anyway, big moment here if you're joining us at the 2019 National Collegiate Dodgeball Championships. We're catching still a significant portion of this last half of our final – tournament here plenty Final, of time. yeah plenty of time two great teams Towson versus Grand Valley wow just got to hope the refs make make the right call here I think what they're calling is a catch for Towson uh, number 11 Hunter Friedman who's had a good game already uh, made a catch where it, it hit off his shoe went right up into there and he caught it before it hit the ground at all so that brings in a Towson player but also Colin Mormon is still in which means that the catch that was called for GVSU actually hit ground first. Uh, so the ref sorted that out. I do want to see Colin Mormon just put his foot in. Just It makes me nervous for him just standing there with well, his foot out. Right <laughs> right, right before the start of the point, you do have to be just out of bounds, and then you'll step okay, in. Okay, so good. okay, good. And it does okay, look there like you stepped in. Okay. Yes. So it was hard to tell since he was in the corner if he was <laughs> actually out or if he was still on yeah. the court. Oh, and a team throw, and he team stays throw, alive. Team throw, manages to stay in, does a fantastic drop fall. Okay, they got They stay at our shot clock violation territory. Towson, I mean, this is, what do we got, 3v5 right now? 3v5. 3v5. This is still very much a game. We got Towson backpedaling. They're going to try to hold down and try to get this ball. We got, we're going to have a, oh, man. And these are not your usual star players for GVSU outside of Nolan Stanko, number 11. Yep. So I mean, keep an eye on him to sort of carry the team here a little bit. Yep. Brett Blair on the far side, another veteran. Uh, if they throw one near him, he will make a catch. Towson is hanging in there. This yep. is, their season is hanging in the balance right now. Two to one lead for GVSU. 15 minutes to go now. And they want to break this dynasty from Grand Valley. This yeah. is Grand Valley going for. Oh, oh, and he drops the catch. Such it was in his hands. It was in his hands. Two left he for had Towson. It. That was number 11, Hunter Friedman. Able to stay in for so long and then just almost couldn't quite keep his eye on the ball and lost track of it. In GVSU here, their sideline and their home court advantage is going to erupt if they're able to take a point on Towson and get a yep. two-point lead with under 15 to go in the national title yep. game. This is going to be pretty big. But what we what we would like to see here from both teams is a, a significant catch on either side would really yeah. potentially swing the difference. Oh, just ground yep, before. Just ground before. Good look by Nolan Stanko. He's known to make catches too. Here we go. GVSU, five left. Oh, and oh, a catch! Great catch. Colin Mormon. He's got to stay with it, though. He doesn't want to get caught off guard in the celebration. And he brings in a cannon of an arm for Towson. Excellent. Tyler Number Schmitz. 24, Tyler Schmidt for Towson. They Here we could go. tie this game. This is, uh, this is 3v4 now. This is what it takes, though, to work. Oh, and oh. he drops it. That. Okay. Rookie That's mistake a by a rookie for GVSU. This is Nick 3v3. Hale. Towson able to really just keep. Oh. Wow, and that's an yep, out as that's well. That's an out. Tyler well, Schmitz. Exactly what you were saying. A cannon with Tyler Schmitz. Perfect throw by him. Keeps it low. Another and get. Oh, Kobe my gosh. Gallagher goes down. Towson. One left. They're going to try to gun down. Oh. Brett Blair, last man standing. And he wow. is caught. Colin okay. Mormon, what a Towson play. celebrating. They need to keep their head in the game, though. They're only tying it with 13 minutes left to go. And two to two. 
13-19 left in the game. Yeah. National but they are, title game. They are amped up. Hey, you like you love to see it, but they've still got to keep their head <laughs> in the game the right now. Keep, yeah. This House. point this point will decide everything. Yes. This is it's gonna be 13. Though I mean the last oh, yep, the last one took nearly 14 minutes to decide this point. So this is it's gonna come down to this one. The, both teams are gonna really give it everything. Unbelievable, but <laughs> back and forth <laughs> point and Colin Mormon, he's been a hero before in a situation where he's one of the last guys left. Does it again. Yeah, number 24 for Towson, Tyler Schmitz. Game changing right there. That was, yeah. yeah. When he got caught in, it shifted the momentum completely. And we got some whole group of Towson alumni back home in Maryland uh, having a little bit of a watch party. <laughs> and they are probably freaking out right now with their team making it to the title game. Love it. Just really impressed with the leadership of Towson's program over the years, able to build and build and eventually get all the way to this point. Now 13 minutes left. They are toe-to-toe -to -toe with GVSU, the yep. dynasty of, of college dodgeball. So what, what was interesting and what I think Grand Valley did so well is they might have been tempted. You that know, should be a stoppage oh. of play. Was there a fight over the ball at center? So in that situation, if two, if two players have a hold on the ball and, and they can't get the grip from the other person, uh, there should be a stoppage of play, as the ref is doing right now, placing the ball right in center court. Neither neither team gets it. You have to place it to center court and then go back to your back line. So both teams going to their baseline now. And actually, it looks like... It looks like, yeah, Grand Valley. Nolan, ball advantage. Nolan Stanko, who got hit there, they're saying is, is still in because uh, the tie-up happened before any of the other throws. So they're going to back down this ball. And Stanko is the one that runs up and gets it still. He was determined. Wow. Yeah. So this this point decides everything, unless it's a real quick one. Whoa. Big out There's right away. Oh. I think he's safe. That was ball first. Wow. They're, look at that drop blocking right they there. Call him oh, out. they call him out. So Meisel took him wow. down. Meisel's Kay. throw is so hard to block because he dips it down. Oh, and Schmitz gets an out on Stockdale. Stockdale. Yeah, he's hurting on that one. So two veterans in the outline already for GVSU. Uh-oh, we've got. Oh, okay, drop mouth guard <laughs> from, <laughs> from Jeff Hayden. If you're wearing a mouth guard, does that mean you expect to get hit in the head? Yes, uh, given the way Jeff plays, I think that's. He plays with no fear. <laughs> he plays with no fear and a, giant, and a giant bald target on his head. Yeah. <laughs> I think he gets under the skin of the opponents too. Yeah, I mean, when you, you he gets in their face quite literally in the neutral zone right there. Blake Clevenger pushing up and barely misses Andrew Kerr. Andrew Kerr, such a significant player on the wing there. He knows the game in and out. He really does. Here we go, blocking with the ball first. Oof, nice throw in the wing. And, and what you're seeing on the far side, Oof, arguably the totally best fine. two Block players. Totally ball into the ground. Yeah, arguably the best two players in collegiate dodgeball. Jordan Watt, Brandon Meisler going head to head. They know how much this means to their team. They want to take out the best player on the other side. Yeah. And Tyler Tyler Schmidt's really protecting this 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 bottom side. Here we go. Ooh, and just a back and forth game. No hits in the no last couple okay. minutes. No hits in the last couple minutes. Still 11 minutes, 18 seconds to go. Teams are tied up. The, the we're gonna need some see significant plays here start to happen. Oh, and that's a block. Great teamwork, block, Towson. Block. Yep, Tyler Schmidt's able to block that ball from hitting his teammate. Oh, Ooh. what a hit, Meisel, and they're calling him out. So that's two hits for Meisel at this point already from the far corner there. Okay, oh, I mean, it looks like they're even, so 10-10. 10 on 10, 10 minutes to go. Wow, here there you go. <laughs> Great blocking, great blocking by 24, Tyler Schmitz. Again, able to protect his teammates when they need him, when they're putting themselves on the line to get a kill. And for the last couple minutes, it didn't look like Aaron Kraft or Ben Smart had a ball Here we and was go. pushing up. Oh, and they missed Jordan Watt there on a team throw. The ref is calling him, the ref yeah. calls him safe. Oh, so this I, is where they're gonna, call. yeah, they're gonna stop the time because when the, <laughs> when confusion starts to disrupt. Yeah. <laughs> that's Another stoppage. To, yeah, time to take some stoppage. Figure it out, make sure everyone's clear on who's in, who's out. And I believe Jordan Watt was safe there. He dodged low into the outside of the court and two balls that were thrown may have collided, but either way they did not they did not hit Jordan Watt. 
so he should still be in this game. 10-23 uh, to go. GVSU trying to make it seven straight national championships for the dynasty of collegiate dodgeball. Towson, on the other hand, the first time they've made it past the quarterfinals even at nationals, and here they are. Sort of a Cinderella story, but at the same time, they've been the second best team all year, number two team in the, in the rankings all season long. Uh, and, and their only losses this year have been to Grand Valley State and James Madison, their East Coast rival. But they are the first East Coast team to ever make it this far in the Collegiate Dodgeball Championships. And they're looking to be the first East Coast team to win a title. Yeah, Towson really feeling it here after their second point. And they put keep on Jordan the Watt in. Yep, keeping Jordan Watt in. Sigh of relief for those at home if you're a Towson fan or if you may just be rooting against GVSU in this situation. Which could be very likely in this league. Can't blame you. <laughs> they have the streak going. You want it to end. And we have a pop ball, too. You'll see that happen from time to time. Pop ball, going to stop, get another ball in here. Ball in play. Ten minutes, three seconds left. I think we still have ten on ten. We'll get a confirmation yep. of that. Ten on ten. Uh, now it really is. Ten, ten, and ten. And this, this point, again, unless it's scored within the next couple minutes, which it doesn't look like it's going to be, this point decides the national champion. Yep. So Both these go. teams are... Towson playing to where they feel comfortable in the neutral zone. Grand Valley playing it how they love to play it. I'm not even going to say they're playing it safe. This is just... they are. Oh, and that... So we have a catch. So we have a catch, but Tyler Schmitz goes down as well. Yep. And so Aaron Kraft got players. caught. Uh, yep. He clipped him in the foot, bounced straight up in the air, and it was caught. Wow. We might have to stop. I mean, there's some confusion here with the maybe officials uh, are fine. So yeah. Andrew Kerr was confirming that someone did go out because yeah. it hit off his foot and he was the one that caught it. It wasn't a team catch. It was but just was the sacrifice of Tyler was that sacrificed in here? Or was Tyler? So Tyler went up to block and was hit. Oh by yeah, the was hit. Yep. Hit by a throw. So he goes down, but Aaron Kraft, who made that throw, also goes down. Meisel Ooh. takes out another. Oh, and Ben Smart. It looked like a headshot. Okay, yeah. So he yeah, goes he down just too. Takes it. Oof. Towson Jeff, Jeff has the advantage here. Heat. Two to two. Under nine okay. to go now. Here we go. Backtracking. Getting a blocker in to help him out. Towson with the ball advantage. Seven balls on their side. Only three for GVSU. All right. GVSU looks like man down to Towson. Yeah, Towson one player more on the court as opposed to GVSU. Ooh. And a drop. That's a drop nice ball. Hit. Big hit. Oh, and Jordan Watt tries nice to take out Meisel. All Towson. right. Both teams playing aggressively within their own element. Grand Valley hanging back at the baseline. And Towson hanging in the neutral territory. And this is huge. GVSU has seven players left. Here we go. Backtracking. Oh, Jeff trying to get the Blair out. Number 21 on Grand Valley with a cross court. Both teams taking a little breather right now. The Lakers need to regroup here. Eight minutes to go, and they are down a couple players to, to Towson. Again, the shot clock dictating and Meisel some of these hit. throws. Meisel gets hit in the corner. This is a big moment for Towson. This is huge for Towson. They they have this point in their hands if they're able to just. Whoa. Oof, okay. Good there. Jeff Hayden so bold. <laughs> Reaching across the, the neutral and line. And that's a hit. Seven and a half to go now. Ooh. GVSU with five left. Do you think about stepping out here if you're GVSU? Or do you play this point I out am, and hope you can hang in there? I am going to defer to you on that strategy. That would be really bold, but I think... It's such a tough call. I giving think these, Yeah, but giving these players and what Alex is able to do in terms of being able to turn around, get some get some kills. Yeah, timeout for Towson. Yeah. So seven minutes to go. I mean, you have five players left. If you make a catch or two, you've still got a chance to maybe... Force it into OT. Yep. We could see this go where no team eliminates the other team before regulation's over, and we could go into overtime. But Towson is in the driver's seat to win a national championship. I can't believe I'm saying it with my <laughs> my own mouth, but they are doing an incredible job at this point. This is 5-9. to nine. Towson uh, commanding a, a, the team lead here in terms of the, the people they've got on the court. Um, I, if you, for some reason, have just tuned in to the, the most – amazing part of this entire tournament the the finale of the 2019 national collegiate dodgeball championships welcome uh this is going to be a pretty spectacular seven minutes and 16 seconds both teams um playing very well 
uh, both in their element. It's two to two, Towson versus Grand Valley State, the reigning national champions. We're gonna see both of these teams line back up, get ready at the baseline and start to get in their, their positions and ready to face off for the next seven minutes and 16 seconds. Five left for GVSU and one, two, three, four, five. It looks like nine. I think it thousand. is nine. I think it's so nine. That's an advantage. So it looks like, I mean, it, it's it's even a ball, uh, maybe ball neutral a little bit. Yep, five on each side maybe. Yep. Oh, Towson is itching to get this point. This would certainly um, yeah, this would certainly make it difficult for Grand Valley to come back if, this, if Towson were able to pull off a point here. Oh. But Grand Valley, if there's anything that I know about Grand Valley in this weekend tournament, is they are a resilient team, and it takes a lot for, for a team to put them down. 36-game win streak on the line for yeah, GVSU. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's oh, and a hit. A hit. Okay. Nolan Stanko goes down. Four left for GVSU. You know, this is where we start to think, you know, this is where resiliency gets challenges. They don't want to get full tilted here. And we have a timeout called by GVSU captain Brandon Meisel. That might be for the best. Is that their second or did we call, or did Towson uh, call last time? Towson did call okay, the last good. one. So we have one timeout left for each team. You get two per half uh, and four left for GVSU. Right now, they're talking about how are we going to survive here? Six and a half minutes either survive, make a couple catches, maybe you swing the point in your favor, but. I mean, this this might be survival, and we've seen them do it already. They did this against Central Michigan, where they survived for eight minutes, able to hold them off for long enough. It ended up not going in their favor, but still, they it, with this talent that Grand Valley has, they can, they can jump, they can dance around, and they can make some plays. Yeah, Towson definitely jacked up here at the baseline. All right, six minutes, 38 seconds left in regular time. Here we go, both First teams out. advancing. Second half, here we go. Ooh, that looks significant. Both teams inching each other back wow, to try to get the ball. great job by David Guire. Yeah. And GVSU only three balls on their side and they have to make a throw too. You're gonna Ooh. have to make a catch for here GVSU. We go. No good yep. there. Throwing. Throwing gas. Let's go. Towson. Oof. Oof. Nice cross court throw. Little dangerous. It was a long distance, but could have caught someone not looking. Oh, and it bounces no, it back in Towson. Yeah, bounces back in Towson. All 10 balls on oh, their wow. side. They might just take a. Yep, they're going to take a team throw here. Dodges. Ooh, dodges. Blair nearly, stays in. Nearly hits him in the head. Goes whizzing past his hair. We're under six minutes now in the title game. Again, I mean, this is where maybe the strategy is. Oh, good dodge by Good dodge Wonderjack. way to keep a feet in play. Good throw. Keep feet in play. One point of contact at all time when you're trying to dodge out of bounds. And Someone team throw coming up here, it looks like. Team throw. Who are they aiming for? Is this Alex? Is this? No, just a solo. Just solo throw. You still have plenty of time here. I mean, you got to have a sense of urgency, but you have five minutes. I mean, it really looks like they're gunning for Brett. Brett Blair and Alex Janaskas. Oh. And a catch by David Guar. That's going to be a brutal catch. And, and GBSU steps step out, out of bounds. Wow. 508 to go. And GBSU, okay. they decided we, we don't have a chance yep. to win this point yep. or even survive. Let's step out and give ourselves five minutes. We need to take a point back. Towson with the lead five minutes to go in the national championship game. Okay. So this, this is really going to test the resiliency of this team. This is the first time that they've, I think, been in this scenario in quite a while. Maybe even for this team. I mean, whew. Yeah, uh, it's, they have to have a sense of urgency here. Down three to two, uh, 5.08 to go. It's enough time to get a point, but you are gonna have to play fantastic dodgeball the rest of the way. And, and once they get down to even a couple for Towson, you're gonna have to close it out really quickly. Five minutes is, is not a lot of time and Towson, they are in the driver's seat to win themselves their first ever college dodgeball national championship. GVSU right now in the huddle. You see Brandon Meisel, the captain. 
Uh, they, they're right now, they're talking, we have to play our best point that we have played all season long. Play the best point that you have ever played as a dodgeball player right now, and you can, you can tie this game up, steal the momentum, and force it into overtime and possibly win a national championship. But GVSU, you're, you're going to have to play as disciplined as you have all season long. And on Towson's side, they've got to play disciplined too. Understand the situation. Five minutes to go, you have the lead. Play smart and be safe. Here we go. Oh, and Whoa. a block and a hit. Oh, no, he's out. So, so an out wow. on both sides. Significant loss, though, with and Towson, and with they call Jeff him out. Hayden. Tyler Schmidt's able to. So oh, Tyler no, Schmidt's, Tyler Schmidt's it, also it out. hit his hat. Not <laughs> any other part of him, but the brim of his hat, it looked like. So he didn't even know that he was out. All right. Oh, and oh, another okay. hit. So Towson needs Towson. to focus. We still have 445 left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, everybody on Towson saying, hey, let's, let's settle down, settle down. Four minutes, 38 seconds to go. They're trying to cool it. They still have to play aggressive. They can't let Grand Valley really command. Okay, good. Yep. Both teams playing aggressive, though, still. Trying to get that victory. Trying to get that point. We need to see Towson play smart here. Get a throw. Good throw. And they call him safe. So great blocking by Towson, and that's what you need right now. If you want to win a yes. national championship game, Block for yourselves, block for your teammates, and it's in your grasp. Good block there, exactly what I'm talking about. Colin Mormon, selfish, unselfish okay, play. Okay, here we go. Both teams playing aggressively. And, and Towson has eight balls on their side with under four minutes to go now and a national championship in sight. Safe, Andrew Kerr just gets out of the way of that one. Good job. GVSU on their back line in it's looking bleak for them now. 3.30 to go. And oh, a drop. another out, but, oh, almost. Drop. Grand Valley almost able to pull that off. Good good throw by Colin Spore. Just barely low enough uh, where it can hit you, but you're not going to be able to catch it. All right, Grand Valley going to be playing aggressively to try to edge the other guys out. Three Brandon, minutes to go. Brandon Meisel being fed some balls to just try to make some plays. Yeah. Three minutes, 12 seconds to go. And they call go. him out, That's 27. An out. And a catch wow. by Meisel. And a catch. Focus, okay, Towson, get to your back line here. This is very significant. Here we go. Brandon Meisel able to make a play. Back Backpedal a little bit. Three minutes left to go in this half. Seven left for Towson still. Seven You've left still for Towson. I mean, at what dodge. point? At what point do you start making bold plays and doing suicide jump? I mean... I mean, suicides, maybe not, but GVSU does need to get extremely aggressive here. And on the opposite side, Towson, play as smart as you can right now, and you have yourself, oh, my oh, goodness. Play Sporter, smart. You've got to keep that throw lower. Yep. Craft with a catch, and they're down All to right. six. Two minutes, 33 seconds, down to six. We've got, I think it's 12 v. six right now. But significant ball advantage on Towson. Here we go. Oh, oh, and Meisel takes him out. Brandon Meisel with the suicide. He does a suicide, suicide, and it takes out suicide. Jordan Watt. Yep. Stoppage of play. Yep. I can't believe it. Yep. Who knew <laughs> Who knew that was the play they were going to choose? That is Towson's best player going down on a suicide by Brandon Meisel, the best player for GVSU. That shows just how important it was to take him out, and he's given a yellow card. Okay, here we go. Yellow card means he can't actually be brought back in right in now, any amount of... If I'm on Towson's side, huddle up your team yep. right now and talk this over. You still have a lead. Yep. Play smart. I know you, you haven't been in this situation yeah. before with a national championship in your grasp, but play smart right now. You still have great players on the court. You can win your program's first national title ever. I mean, this is Grand Valley. That was a significant play. That's going to get in their heads. I mean, that's what that's what Brand Brandon knows what he was doing on that. I mean, he was, he was making a statement. He had to get yeah. Watt out. And plus, even if he was just making a statement, it also looked... It, it looked awesome. very cool. <laughs> it, it looked, looked very, very cool. cool. And, and he did that because he has so much confidence in his team. You have all of the other star players left for GVSU, yep. several All-Americans on that side of the court. But back to Towson here. Colin Spore okay. went down, and Jordan Watt went down within the Ooh, last minute. This is pretty significant. Towson maintaining a significant ball advantage. So they can still control the flow yep. by making sure they only give them sort of one ball at a time. Yeah. I mean, all they need to do is maintain the shot they, clock. They s they have to just play smart here with 10 dodgeballs yep. on your side. Yeah. Your shot clock is, is still going to be, uh, no, actually, nine. Right, Let's go. It looks like Towson's on the 10 count, actually, because they only have five left. I can't believe oh. that 
they got themselves down to the to the ten count that quickly. Wow. They. So why we're why we know that's significant is being on a ten count is going to significantly. It's it's going to increase the yeah, frequency. It's going to increase the frequency of how they have to get rid of their their balls. Five yeah. seconds at a time. So we've got. And one ball on on GBSU side. Even actually. if we get one catch, that could really. I mean, two minutes left to go in this half. Yeah, two Towson, to go. Yeah. Under two to go. Under two to go now. Yeah, they're going to have to start really throwing low. Make sure. Oh, he oh. crapped with a hit. Okay, and that's, he gets clipped, yep. but he got so a hit. One minute, one minute, 47 seconds. And a stoppage of play by the baseline rep. Four to go. Great job by, Wow. I believe it was Andrew Kerr, took out Kraft right after the hit. That was enormous. Kraft is one of the best players when it comes to transition play here. Incredible job by Towson, hanging in there with the number one I team, mean and they have the lead right now with less than two to go. Yeah, I mean, this wasn't a suicide sort of jump throw right here, but it was still. I mean, he wasn't over the territory, but he still ran in, knew he was going to be contested, and got the kill. So I that's, that's going to be important. It's sacrificing numbers for Grand Valley at this point. But they have, the numbers, they have the numbers yeah, right now to do that. they have the numbers to do that. And they have the sense of urgency where they know. Are we down to three or four, four here? On, oh four my left. Gosh. And keep an eye right now if you're just watching this game, <laughs> just tuning in. David Guar, he is one of the hardest players to eliminate in college dodgeball, and he is still in the game. Here we go. David Guar hanging back. That throws right, low, but go. good. Yep. Sam Stockdale pushes up. Good throw by him, but it misses. Good here block go. by Andrew Kerr. Kerr. Yep. Janowskis yep. pushing Janowskis up on Freeman. not intimidated. Low. No good. Ooh, and Reyes misses as well. Yep. He's baiting him. He wants it. Okay. In and out. Nice That's throw big. by That's Friedman. Big. 122 to go. GVSU no ball on their side at all. It's going to come down to making a catch. One minute, 16 seconds. Towson, a national safe. title. Still safe. One minute away. One minute away. One minute, 10 seconds. We got Stockdale coming in, trying to make a difference here. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw another suicide throw here. They, they in have fact, three. I, I, I don't know why they're not. Send three guys in, see if you can get a, a yep, significant play. You gotta play. do something. You gotta do Stockdale something here. Stockdale pushing up 50, again to make a throw. 55 seconds left. And he's safe. Oh. 51 seconds. Kerr going, oh no, okay. I thought Kerr had. Stoppage of play. Stoppage of play, 48.6 seconds left. Again, Towson. And they call Andrew Kerr safe. Andrew Kerr safe. That is huge. So Towson still, I think they have four guys left, yep. 48 seconds. Again, significant. I would, I would, Stockdale's with this ball here. I would not be surprised if he goes in for yeah. a suicide throw. Hey, you have to do whatever it takes to get an out here. Yep. You have to get four players eliminated within the next 48 seconds. Otherwise, the national title is for the Towson Tigers. Yep. So, I mean, a, a feasible sort of route to that would be Go suicide, maybe get one, get a catch in, try to then immediately return fire, and maybe all that can happen in 20 seconds. Yep, yeah, I mean, you're going to have to start diving all around. Yep. Dive and it's get a catch. Get An interesting thing, what, what GVSU is doing now, they're all pushing over into one quarter, corner and staying right on the baseline. Here we go. Ooh. Just misses. Here we Good go. Good throw Stockdale. by Towson. Stockdale's got to make a play here on Kerr. He's going to, oh, he's just he misses. went for Friedman. Cross court shot on. And Blair misses yeah. as well. 30 they're, seconds to they're go. They're just daring them to throw the ball. They are up on that throw line. And Kerr. Nice hit I'm there. I'm not quite sure how much, yeah. Still four left, Still 20 four seconds. Left, 18 seconds Towson left. National championship I would in go sight. For, we should go for the, oof. 12 seconds. 10, 10 seconds. 9. And eight, another hit. Seven. We have a lot of action going on. The team. I'm not I sure what's happening. There's six seconds left, but it is it is all but over. I. Towson University. They get a yellow card from the team. A yellow card is given. Uh, on I'm who, not though? sure what it means, but there's 6.6 .6 seconds left, and Towson has the lead. I mean, it would make a difference if they gave a yellow card to, to a, Guare. a player that is yeah. on the court. It looked like it went towards Guare, and but they're, they're looking. I think. Oh uh, yeah, Guare's out, and they're calling him out. But uh, there's still three players oh, left. Oh yeah, totally. I mean, three players left with 6.6 .6 seconds left, and only three balls left for GVSU. There is still a <laughs> sliver of hope, but that's fair. So 
I want to see it. I want to see a running. All three running of them. All, yeah, all, all three, three suicide. We're getting ready here. This is the last hurrah here at the 2019 National Collegiate Dodgeball Championships. Towson University may have just ended the six-year national championship streak for GVSU. And, and looking at the captains of this team, what an amazing job that they've done all year long. This program, they, they have just the professionalism that they've had. They've traveled so, to so many different tournaments. They've focused on improving throughout the entire year. They, they're the number two team in the country coming into this tournament, uh, which was something that has never been said of Towson in the past. Right. So easily their best season that they're ever, they've ever had, even if they had lost earlier in this tournament. But the way that they have played the last two days just goes to show that they are okay. an elite program in the NCAA. <laughs> Clearly we've got Friedman. Hiding. Hiding. Six, five, four, three. Interesting. Wow. Strategy. There should be, and it looks like Meisler is going up to say there should be three seconds left, but even with that, you've got three guys left. I don't know if I like that move by Towson. I do not know if I like that move by Towson. They, they have three players left, but they just gave up a, a shot clock <laughs> violation, and there should be two, okay. either two or three seconds to go. So what we're going to see here, 2.2 no seconds. 2.2 seconds on the clock. No balls to block themselves. I can't believe Three they did that. Three players left on the court. Grand Valley have all the balls. Suic suicide run chaos. Yeah, and as long as the ball is thrown, it is live to hit somebody. So I don't know why Towson did that. I think they, they're going to throw every ball they have. They have to throw all ten. That's, there's no doubt about it. Someone's going to try to make it to half court. Yeah, I mean, two you seconds, have, it, it looks like 2.2 seconds. You can get up to half court and release the ball. Three players left for Towson. Stay alive right now. Yeah, spread each other out. And here we go. Three. And that is it. I Towson that's wins it. That's it. Towson's victory. They hit one player, but the other two stay alive. That's and a the Tigers long win season. It. A long season. Grand Valley State, though, really, really holding composure there, led by their, one of their captains, Brendan Mazel. Yeah, great tough playing. loss for yeah, GVSU. Tough loss, but, but look at Towson, able to celebrate. Can't say enough about how great Towson played in that game after going down 1-0. They earned it. They believed in themselves to take down the dynasty, and they did exactly that. What an incredible victory here after a long tournament weekend at the 2019 National Collegiate Dodgeball Championships. Looks like we're going to see some replays of this great match. I mean, Towson, what an amazing, amazing resilient play. I mean, this is where they were down, they were up, they... And this is something that... We're going to check out some replays here. This is something that Towson just... The fact that they were able to be resilient in a situation against the number one team in the country, pulling an upset like that, yeah. unbelievable. This and is incredible. Just, just It took teamwork from their entire team. You, you've got Jordan Watt, you've got Collins Spore, David Guar, the top players on the team that, that we know their names, but it took every single player on this team. The depth for Towson today was as impressive as, as I've seen in any team in the country all season I mean, long. this is incredible. Towson upsetting the six-time national champion right now. Six years in a row, actually more than national championships, but six years in a row. This is incredible. Towson, Towson celebrating right now. And, and this is incredible. They deserve it. I mean, this yeah. is this is a group of guys that, I mean, yeah, you really. See, you see the emotion on their faces right now. This team has been fighting. The program has been fighting to get to this point for so long. And I've got to give a shout out to some of the players that formed the, the team in the first place. Sean Smith, John Shaw, a couple of players that fought through the, the tough days for Towson. And, and they weren't a great team, but they focused so hard on recruitment. They focused so hard on building an incredible program and, and it all pays off right I mean, now. This has to be great. You know, yes, it's sad uh, in terms of you, you know you're a, a Grand Valley alum, but as a member of the NCDA, this is a significant step towards league equality, and and really having an equal playing field so that every team feels like they can always go for that national championship. That is one hundred percent what I think. And in Towson, you've got to be so proud of yourselves that you were the team that broke that title yep. streak for GVSU, and actually the first team not from Michigan to win a title since 2007. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. You've got Townsend next year. You're going to have, again, a Central Michigan. You're going to have a, a young MSU. Um, Ohio looked really good. I mean, so many of these teams yep. are ready to go. And actually, you know, maybe next year's the year for anybody to take the championship.
Yeah, and it looks like we're going to we're gonna talk to some of the leaders on go. Towson's team right now down on the court. So proud of the way that they played today. Incredible national championship. Yeah, this is fantastic. Felix, go ahead. Take it away. Let's talk to these new champions. All right, I'm here with the senior members of the Towson University Dodgeball Club. Uh, they just won their first national championship. Congratulations, guys. Um, only one of you, I wanted to answer this question. How does this compare to Tiger Woods winning the Masters today? <laughs> A million times better. <laughs> oh my God! Excellent, uh, guys. Congratulations. Uh, is there any final words you want to say about Grand Valley, about the event, about the team in general? We'd like to thank members of our club for creating this and bringing us all this way. Especially John Shaw, like people like that, Sean Smith. All it's it means who we are. You know. Uh, thank you, Grand Valley, for hosting. Uh, they had a hell of a year. They had a hell of a run. Uh, but their time's over. <laughs> All right, excellent. Uh, once again, congratulations, guys. Go celebrate with your team. Honestly, what an amazing tournament uh, this weekend. It has been, I mean, we were just talking about, again, uh, these, these new up-and-coming teams ready to make a play for next year's championship. Towson going to be the defending national championships next year. Uh, what a pleasure. I have, this has been amazing to host this, this live stream. I think uh, the NCDA, an incredible organization, you guys have done a lot of hard work here to put in, uh, put in this effort to create an, a unique league and something that's really special for a lot of these schools. And, and it's all worth it when you see the emotion on the players' yes, faces. Exactly. All of these players just won their first national championship that they've <laughs> ever won. They've never even been in this situation before, so incredible. Uh, this Towson team, uh, just the way that they've developed over the years and and the fact that they were able to take down GVSU, who's won six straight titles, ten titles in the last 12 years. They're, they were the Goliath, and Towson is, was the David. Yeah. And Towson gets to go down in collegiate dodgeball history as that team that broke the streak. And, and they get to, the rest of their lives, they get to look back at this and think, we won a national championship at our school, yeah, this and is we fantastic. took down GVSU in the title game. We're getting great shots right here, them playing with the with the national with the bracket, championship, the national trophy. championship trophy. Everybody getting to put their hands in, actually feel what that hard hard work has meant Can't for imagine, this entire year. I cannot imagine what that team is feeling to know that they brought it to their school for the very first time, and they're, and they're writing it in on the bracket right there, making it official, Towson University. After years of struggling to make it all the way this far, finally this group of Towson players gets the job done. And that I know that they mentioned it in their interview. They said, we've got a shout out to the guys that came before us. And I mean, this Towson team, so much struggle. They were the worst team on the East Coast when they joined college right. dodgeball back in 2011. And just eight short years later, they are national champions, the number one program in the country yeah this is fantastic i mean they've got a long ride ahead of them home but some good victory you know along the way really getting to enjoy all the hard work they've put in this season this is fantastic i've loved every minute of this live broadcast uh again um what what a great um amazing league again you guys have put together the integrity of all the teams all the administration the coaches everybody's here to have a great time playing dodgeball and everybody also Shows massive amount of respect to, to everybody. So much respect. Uh, I know. T I know. Grand Valley was gracious uh, losers yes, in that situation, exactly. yep. handing it over to Towson, uh, the, that championship trophy. But uh, just a fantastic job. Th this whole weekend has run so smoothly. We need to give a shout out to everyone behind the scenes that it has made it happen. But uh, Grand Valley State losing to Towson, unbelievable job by them. This is this is pretty fantastic. And we'll take we'll take a look at some highlights here. Uh, recap this entire tournament which was unbelievable two day long yeah uh we had just some grueling games coming down to the wire i mean this was so interesting i mean yesterday uh, prelim gameplay does a lot of for seeding this this tournament today um that yeah. actually definitely affected um uh grand valley facing central michigan yeah. um and that was that was significant in the semifinals and as you're checking out these awesome highlights you may be at home thinking how do i start a team at my school Check out the NCDA. We're on all forms of social media, NCDA Dodgeball, College Dodgeball. Search either of those. Check out ncdadodgeball.com if you want to start a team. We'll make it as easy as possible for you to do that, and maybe you're the next Towson. Maybe you're the next exactly. Cinderella maybe story. You're, yeah, maybe you're the next. That pulls off that, that national championship win over. Able to bring it home it. for your team for the first time. Yep, unbelievable. As you see their celebration right there, raw emotion for Towson. Man, this, is, this has been fantastic. Kevin, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very um, much. 
that we're going to sign out here uh, from Grand Valley State with the new uh, national champions, Towson, going back home. It's been a pleasure. This is so great. Thank you, NCDA.